Okay, no, but seriously, a lot of people have been asking me recently if I actually do have a girlfriend because, um, apparently in one of my videos there was like a laugh in the background of the commentary or something like that. Um, it was some sort of giggle. <laughs> Bella, stop. Oh, hell no. Don't you get cute with me. I found this in the trash can. What dirty ass bitch you fucking with? Well, you need a mouth cover to eat her pussy. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Y'all, y'all love little hoes at home. There's this little Haley girl blowing up his phone. Uh-uh, bitch. The man's mine. He don't respond to you for a reason. He's happy. He like them thick, all right? And all these other fangirls, I see you clamoring on Twitter, hashtag Leafy is daddy. Uh-uh, daddy's home, bitch. And I swear on everything, that fanfic you write of me stuffing him, those pictures you show of me banging Leafy, yeah, you are all spot on. I do it and I do it well, or I wouldn't be right here, right now, in the man's bedroom. Our bedroom, cause we, are getting married. I'm pregnant. I've locked myself down a celebrity, baby. Unless you want to sacrifice that ass to an awesome threesome. Shut the fuck up. We're busy getting busy. Back the fuck off of my mouth. <laughs> So what up everyone, check it out, yesterday as many of you guys know, I ended up dropping a super high quality, extra greasy, extra gay, face cam video where I reacted to some fan art people sent me. And next up, we have me getting uh, raped by someone, uh, sat on to be more exact. Yeah, I really don't know, Jesus Christ. Anyways though, after spending quite a bit of time getting all my fan art together, setting everything up, recording the video, editing the video, and of course rendering the absolute shit out of the video, and last but not least, uploading it to YouTube, I ended up being just completely exhausted. Like, I honestly just felt absolutely fucking dead, and about 10 minutes after the video went up, I just crashed in my bed, finally about to get some long-deserved sleep that I've been craving all day. I pass out and sleep like a little fucking baby with Tourette's. <laughs> Fast forward five hours of shitty garbage fucking sleep later. Immediately I wake up to a mini stroke, excited to see how my wonderful cancer sponge video is doing, and feeling absolutely amazing with tons of bright thoughts ahead because of the new video. I rush over to my computer and instantaneously open it up and see pretty much nothing but fucking this shit. Oh my god, Leafy was hiding it this whole time, and I I I, I just can't believe him, okay? I'm unsubbing, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, okay? I'm fucking done, I'm gonna shoot up my school. Oh my god. Leafy, who the fuck is that bitch in your video, huh? Who the f- Oh my god, Leafy, Le 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 Leafy's not in a- he just, he just have a girlfriend right now, right? Le Leafy's not in a relationship, right guys, right? Leafy, Leafy, right? You're not- you, you don't have a girlfriend, right? I will cut your dick off with children's scissors, you fucking fat. Okay, no, but seriously, it was just an absolute clusterfuck, okay? Long story short, yesterday I was recording my video, and one or two of my friends stopped by, and at one point in time, a girl over at my apartment threw a fucking peace sign while I was recording with my webcam, and apparently, according to some advanced Illuminati fucking researchers that I found on MySpace, that peace sign, combined with the fact that Leafy posted a Snapchat about six days ago that had someone laughing in the background, as well as the fact that Leafy is an absolute lunatic that has literally made videos in the past talking about his experience with various drugs and my only sexual experience with homeless people is usually with the name Harold, Kevin, or DJ fucking Keemstar then we can easily deduce that Calvin aka Leafy is a goddamn terrorist is going to be literally married in the next week and acquiring some discount looking ass family of six with his new homeless drug dealer named Steven <laughs> No, but seriously, I'm assuming at this point in time, a lot of you guys think I'm joking about this. Well, spoiler alert, I'm not. When I dropped that video yesterday, I got so many comments just asking about random shit about that. Like, oh, what are you hiding someone from us? What are you gonna get married, faggot? Oh my god, you make me sick. And meanwhile, I'm just sitting here like feedback on the video that I spent hours on. Pfft. Fuck that shit, dude. According to the internet theories and the fucking triangle Pringle that I found today, you're hiding something, faggot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.
Okay, but all jokes aside though, guys, it's always been so crazy to me how fast people jump to conclusion when it comes to YouTube and actually, you know, no, 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 fuck that, okay? Just accusations in general. Like, obviously, this is a pretty harmless example, and everybody is absolutely entitled to ask a question, and to be fair, a lot of the people were pretty chill about the whole thing and just simply asked, like, who's that person in the background? What the fuck? But, you know, in a lot of other cases with super small shit happening, especially on the internet, several motherfuckers create these massive theories and jump to the craziest conclusions based off, once again, the fucking smallest of things. Like, oh, you made an 11-minute video and at 3 minutes and 38 seconds you looked to the left a little bit too long? Well, shit, you must have been kidnapped by ISIS and probed by actual intergalactic fucking aliens. But to wrap this shit up, guys, don't always be so quick to jump to conclusions. Don't make crazy theories based off a fucking hand in a video. Be sure to actually think things out before making some ridiculous shit based off some small shit. Because in all honesty, that is absolutely fucking insane. And I don't know, man. Just, just don't, just don't do that, all right? Or don't. I mean, I'm not your fucking dad. I can't tell you what to do in all honesty. Fuck. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, or agree with anything I said today, well then be sure to leave a like on today's video, because not only will I find you and blow you in a parking lot, but on top of that, if you leave a like on today's video, I will literally find you, that's right, I don't give a shit who you are, I will find you and inject a special serum of, uh, uh fucking superpowers into your veins, and you'll, you'll become the next Superman, that's right, if you leave a like on today's video, I will find you and give you fucking superpowers, this is not a joke at all, not a scam at all. Do it and it will happen. Ah! And with that all being said, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. And uh, thanks for all the support and peace, peace guys. Adios. Mm.